Thanks, Ari. I am here with former Rockets player, current Rockets TV analyst, Matt Bullard. Matt, thank you so much for joining us on short notice. How has it been literally just waiting for the season to come back? Well, it's, uh, you know, it's been all sorts of emotions, you know, with the pandemic going on and everything that's, that's happening in our society. It's, uh, it's, been, it's been tough, you know, and, uh, and without having any sports to sort of distract us, you know, that's something that I think the society is uh, really missing. So I'm hoping that the NBA is able to, uh, to pull this off, to get every, everybody in the bubble in Orlando and, and everything goes off uh, according to plan. And uh, hopefully that'll give a lot of us something to distract uh, from what's really going on out in the real world. Absolutely. And when Adam Silver said it's happening, we're going to Disney World, we're going to finish the season in Orlando, what was the reaction of the Rockets players? Well, I think uh, not just the Rockets players, but just all the NBA players in general. And I'm going to include myself in that as well <laughs> as a former player that uh, everybody, I think, is really excited to get back to playing. I, I know that a lot of players have, have uh, said that uh, the emotion that they feel is that they've really missed the game, that they, they realize how much they love to play basketball. And this time away from it has, has shown them that they really do miss it. And I'm the same way, you know, I, I love the game of basketball. I miss not having it in my life. And uh, so I think we're gonna see a lot of players that are really excited to get back on the floor. What in your mind do the Rockets specifically have to do to win this strange NBA championship? Well, I think the Rockets are, are poised to to be NBA champions. You know, they went to the small ball lineup before everything got shut down. They had some good success with it. I think Mike D'Antoni realizes that uh, his vision of small ball can work. I know his players have all bought in. So I'm excited to see how they're able to jump right back into the small ball and if they can make this work uh, against uh, some of the other teams. But I think the Rockets have a good chance of, of, of running uh, towards the championship this year. And the first few games coming back out of this break are going to be critical. The Rockets' schedule is competitive. They start out with Dallas, then they have to face the Bucks. Is it really important for them to get in a good groove as soon as they get to Disney World? Yes, absolutely. And, and Dallas is the most important game to get started because if the Rockets were to lose that, then they would only have a half game lead on the Dallas Mavericks in the, the standings. And so they've got to win that game. And then they've got games against the Lakers and the Bucks. And both of those teams are at the top of the conference, uh, Western Conference and Eastern Conference. And those are the two teams that I think most people would feel like have the best chance to win the championship. And so the Rockets have important games in those first eight games that they not only win them, but also establish who, uh, their small ball style mm -hmm. and also set a statement to the other teams knowing that the Rockets are for real. They are for real, and a lot of people are saying the Rockets are destined to win this because there are other two championships people say have asterisks because MJ wasn't playing. So in some ways, this is fate, right? <laughs> uh, it is, and I, I'm vehemently against those asterisks ah. for the 94 and 95 Rockets championships. <laughs> we would have beaten the Bulls even if Michael Jordan was playing. Come on. I, I agree with you. Matt, thank you so much for joining us. Good luck, and uh, we will talk to you soon, I'm sure. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs>